All right. So hello, everyone. Thank you for dropping in. I do appreciate you, and I'm really glad to see you all. Uh, this is normally Derek's show, but I've decided that I'm going to take over, and we're going to run a little bit of Death Watch. We've got some fantastic people here. We've got all the fabulous guests, and this is going to be the crew for a while. So I think it would be a good time to introduce them, let them say hi, tell you where they can be found, and a little bit about themselves. We probably won't do this every single time, but since this is the maiden voyage, so to speak, I want to make sure that everyone gets seen. So we'll go ahead and we will start with Kuma playing Brother Artenzo. Hi ho, yes, my name is Kuma or Kuma the Bronze. You can find me all over the internet under that same handle. I occasionally stream, I release different uh, game supplements, and honestly, just I'm a bit of a degenerate online. So uh, thank you for stopping by and uh, thank you for watching. Thank you, Kuma. We can jump over to Metwick, uh, also Brother Alvarez. Uh, hi, I'm Metwick. Uh, I have been streaming for just over six years, partner for three, and um, do a lot of Darkest Dungeon and other strategy games. And uh, currently, I've been doing some painting streams for the Warhams. And I'm, I'm working on a Mephiston and some Thousand Suns, and uh, yeah, yeah. And wait, I'm not even following the channel. I'm, I'm th oh. That is just disrespect. Disrespect. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, there we go. It. Look at that. Look at that. I'm following. All right, there we go. Thanks, and, uh, you yeah, say you can find right me. as I follow. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't want to call you out. Okay, sheesh. Uh, and you can find me at twitch.tv slash metwick. And, and you're all cute. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. And next, we're going to bop over to Willow playing Sister Sanctuary. Hi, I'm Willow. Uh, I'm a trans creator. I do a lot of educational stuff, a lot of information about gender and sexuality. I run Trans 101 that I'm thinking about actually making like a, a proper weekly show, and you can find me over at twitch.tv slash Willow. Also, I get half naked on the internet sometimes but that's unrelated i'm i'm trying to po i'm trying to practice radical body positivity something that nice. i'm really bad at all right thank you very much willem i do appreciate it and i will definitely be tuning in for uh that radical aspect of your shows oh, yeah. uh, we will only half naked just for the record only half left half or right half i mean Obviously, the inner half. The inner half. About. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Not a single Laying bit of clothing on your bones. For others. Okay. <laughs> I'm naked like under my clothes right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My skeleton is so cold. It's not wearing a scrap of clothes. <laughs> Man, you don't even you don't even know you don't even know how many shockers I have open right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna bounce over to Dan, who is playing Sister Ash. Hi. Uh, I'm Dan. Uh, you can find me basically anywhere on the internet as Dan Pixel, P Y X E L. Uh, TikTok, Twitch. I stream narrative games for the most part. Uh, I also do casting for T3 Overwatch, and uh, I am on comic book TikTok for DC stuff. Uh, yeah, but you can basically find me anywhere on this handle. All right, thank you very much. Looks like we lost closed captioning on you for that one, though, for some reason. Oh, you know, I might be in Firefox. That's okay. Bop on over, and uh, we'll get you right back. Yeah. So we got a placeholder image in the meantime while you do that, and uh, that also means you get to dodge talking to Derek. Yeah, everybody wants to do that. All right, and we will wrap up with Derek playing Brother Vraska, which in my mind just turns into Brother Ska, which is cool. Oh, well, I guess I'm I'm not going to... No, I'm Brother Braska. Uh Hi, guys. I'm Derek. You'll know me probably. If you don't, welcome in. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. Really quick, major shout-outs to Soul for taking on this uh, this show. It is everything that he's been putting together is just absolutely fabulous. Cannot wait. Um, attention to detail on, like, the next level. It's fantastic. I can't believe I'm lucky enough to get to play in the campaign that he's running. So, super excited to be here. Uh, I do basically all actual play streams on this channel um, just about every day of the week so uh, if you like actual play content you can always find me here doing something 
or on somebody else's channel, but you'll get to know them over the course of this weekend if you stay tuned. So that's it. All right. Thank you very much, Dan. I see that you are back and a little bit, uh, a little bit close up there on the yeah, camera. It zoomed a little bit differently over on yeah. Chrome, aren't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we may take a quick break here in a bit to get you squared away, but right now enjoy your close up uh, and go ahead and give me a little bit more talking. See if CCs are back. Oh yeah. Uh, is it is it here now? Yeah, it's perfect. Yay! We did it. All right. You're still you're still on. Uh, mono rather than stereo which i don't know why that's the case but that's that's so that's, that's a thing all right um thank you all for showing up this is darker stars is a death watch warhammer 40k campaign uh, a couple things to clear up right off the bat one uh fuck turfs uh two fuck fascists and three fuck nazis so right off the rip this is not a white supremacist apologetic stream at fucking all so that said yeah we've got female space marines suck it nerds they're great. We've got two of them. One of them is a sister battle. The other one is a raptor. So you are in the land of absolutely zero nonsense taken here. And uh, that kind of follows through onto the stream as well. Don't fuck around. Don't find out. We're here to have a great time. We're here to have fun. We're going to lampoon some of the Empire's absolute shenanigans. And we're also going to have some great combat against Chaos, Necrons, and all of the above. It's going to be a great time, so I'm glad that you tuned in. We're going to run for about three hours most nights. That's going to be 7.30 Central to about 10.30 Central, give or take a little bit. Sorry for the late start this time. We had a couple of people with technical, a couple of people with bio, as is tradition on a first stream. Nothing starts on time. Outside of that, uh, we'll just go ahead and get right into it. And you guys have all been part of Death Watch for a while. You've gone on a mission together. You faced off against some Emperor's children. Uh, the fate of that particular battle kind of hangs in the balance somewhere up in the air. And you are now pretty well established as a Death Watch kill team. You're serving on uh, Watch Fortress Ariok. You are bouncing between different uh, skirmishes. There's been a lot going on and you are no longer Greenhorns. You're pretty experienced with everything and you are ready to rock. So, that said, uh... You are called in by your Watch Captain, uh, Watch Captain Blackthorn. They are a member of the White Scars. They are pretty no-nonsense. Not a person that really is suffering of fools, but they're fairly patient. They're fairly reserved. They've got a very good demeanor off the battlefield that gives you a sense of calm, whereas on the battlefield, they are an absolute whirlwind of destruction, just not the one to be trifled with. So, there, there are a few people that joke briefly that they're, they're kind of like a cat, you know, lay around most of the time, but then they get the 3 a.m. zoomies, and uh, nothing is more scary than a 3 a.m. zoomies in a Space Marine armor on a motorbike with a chainsword. So that's your watch, Captain. They've deployed you a couple different places here or there, but they call you in for a mission briefing. If you go to roll 20, you will see on the handout section that we've got a mission briefing. I'm going to show it to you real quick. Go ahead and pull it up if you want. But uh, Captain brings you in and says, Brothers of the Death Watch, I bring you a mission of utmost importance. Our target is the radioactive wasteland of Vanity. Uh, those of you who are not familiar with lore, Vanity is right outside of the Hadex Anomaly, which is a twisted scar in space that is a confluence of warp energies. Absolutely terrible. Vanity was briefly engulfed and then kind of fell out of that. So it's not the greatest of places to begin with. And that's where you're going. Your captain continues, Due to its harsh conditions, only elite forces are deployed there. The fighting on Vanity has been both sporadic and brutal over the past five years, with both sides trying to use this system as a base for their own, op own operations. Our mission is to break through Stigmatis lines and extract a squad of Raptor space marines who are being overrun. Context here, Stigmatis is a chaos cult. They are really widespread throughout everything in the Jericho sector, and they are uh, pretty nasty. They're, they're not quite on like a full chaos space marine, trader marine warband, but they're nasty cultists nonetheless. Uh, Marines are being overrun. They've been holding position for a while. It's not great. 
The situation in Vandy is tense, but we must not falter. We must move with precision and swiftness, for the fate of this system and the Death Watch depends on our success. We do not have the Marines to spare. Period. These are Raptor Marines, they are elite scout snipers, we do not have them to waste. They must be extracted from this situation. Our mission is threefold. First, we must extract the Belagric Raptor forces from Fortress Canticle. They're pinned down, running low on ammunition, several, several of them are wounded. Our second objective is to deny the enemy the fortress. If it can't be defended, you are authorized to destroy it. The Imperial Guard support is expendable. We cannot risk leaving the stronghold in the hands of the enemy. Okay, yeah. I got to laugh. <laughs> Sorry, it's... it's... <clears throat> it is Death Watch. The third and final objective is to eliminate the leaders of the Stigmartist forces. This will not be easy as they have heavy mutant support with exceptional toughness. With your training and dedication, however, I have no doubt that we will succeed. Let us move with speed and precision and may the Emperor guide our blades. And with that, if you aren't asking any questions, then you will be tossed off to a Thunderhawk and shipped out. We gotta make some of the Aquila. Yeah. Go ahead. Do you so, do, do, so go legal head. When when you say when you say heavy mutant support, like, do you have any idea what we're what, what we're expecting to find there? What kind of mutant support? The twisted members of Stigmartis field many different mutants. However, on vanity, very few would be able to survive for long due to the radiation and the lack of supplies. I would expect abhumans, ogrims twisted by chaos. Okay. Big enough to hurt if it punches me. Got it. Oh, definitely. Watch, Captain. Well, then we punch it first. <laughs> you say yes, brother. And I die a little bit. Is there any munitions or ordnance within the fortress canticle that we may be able to use at our disposal for the extraction of the Raptor Chapter Marines? The Raptors are not one to field heavy weapons traditionally. They may have some, but I doubt it at this rate. As I said, ammunition supplies are running low. They are wounded and they are pinned. Imperial support negligible. The raptors prefer to move with speed and a lack of equipment. Since they're running low on supplies, do we have any kind of like um, estimated time until it's too late? Like what's 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 our timetable here for operational success? You are to deploy immediately. This was astro telepathically broadcast to the watch fortress. We will arrive with immediacy and at that point, the clock is ticking. It is not a matter of, do we know how long they will last? It is a matter of, will we make it there in time? Are we drop potting in? You will actually be thunderhawking in. Okay. DM question. DM answer. I'm an astro telepath as well. Yes. Um, can we, can I try to establish and try to keep like, are we in the same system to get or to keep that contact going to try and get some extra information while we're on the way there? That is a question. Uh, you can definitely try an astro telepath with a raptor space marine that pushed himself to get that out here. It is the Hadex anomaly periphery, so mm, good so luck, gods. Like a... Yeah, no, okay, no, I'm good then. If... <laughs> oh, never... Yeah, the Hadex anomaly is pretty nasty. Yeah. Um, I, I guess I have a, a this is probably a DM specific question. Mm -hmm. uh, do I, there, there are raptors, am I familiar with this unit? Yeah, there's only maybe a thousand raptors running around at any given time. And you are, I mean, it's, you're, you're a space marine, you're a transhuman intellect. If you can't remember a thousand names of your brothers, then you probably are fired. You never made it past the initiation rites. Especially as a raptor, because that's important intel. You would be very, very well put to do that. Uh, s since we have a Thunderhawk, are we getting air support? That is your air support. Right. So, okay, good. I mean, that's pretty decent air support. I mean, it's not bad. Yeah. 
do we have any information any information whatsoever on on the LZ basically? Yeah. So Fortress Canticle is a rocky outcropping amidst other rocky outcroppings. Most of MD has been pounded flat with artillery shelling, uh, strategic strikes from orbit, the scouring of the Hadex anomaly, and countless centuries of industry and brutal warfare. Fortress Canticle overlooks what maybe at one time was a ravine that had a river in it, but no longer. The rest of the area is pretty much blasted and broken terrain. If you're familiar with the Dakotas, we're looking at badlands like that. It is flat, it is nasty, there's rocks everywhere, and it's pretty much a pallor of gray dust and shrublands. Ah, good. Less places for the enemy to hide. More yeah, places exactly. to sink my blade. I've always wanted to blow up the Dakotas. What? I mean, it's not like there would be any casualties. There's no one there. Exactly. Alright. Any other questions before you deploy? Uh, it says we have 40 requisition. You have 40 requisition. Um... That is each, and if you want to give it to someone else, you can, for whatever reason. Oh. I can't see myself spending too much of it. Really. There's always ammo. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Okay. And I do suggest getting ammo. Your, your mission brief strictly said that they are particularly tough. And I will give you a little bit of behind-the-scenes stuff. You're looking for things like Hellfire Rounds, not Kraken Rounds. You want things that defeat natural and unnatural toughness, not armor penetration. Mm. Thick boys. Changes. With two Cs, got it. Yeah. Okay, then I'm not going to take Kraken Rounds, because I was going to take Kraken Rounds before. Thank you for telling me that. Yep. Like I said, this is a first run for a lot of us. I know that a lot of people are not... 100% on the lore. God, I don't think anyone is. Not that the lore is 100% on itself, either. <laughs> True. I have a question. I have an answer. Um, so, when we did our training mission, and we bought stuff with that mm -hmm. requisition, do we still have that stuff? Or no, that that's mission, mission specific. I see. Yeah, you only that's get it for that mission. Good to know. Is um, it likely? Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. I can go ahead and tell you that I'm going to spend um, spend that same requisition on what I got last time, plus more. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. I love it. <laughs> All right. I'm getting a red dot targeter for my bolt pistol and some crack grenades and hellfire rounds. squared up sounds good I'm definitely gonna bring bring some extra ammo as soon as I can find what page the ammo is on uh it is 161 161 gotcha thank you thank you very much Hey, uh, hey, Stalker Rounds. Stalker would be good to go. Yes. How much was that, uh, red dot? It is, uh, 12. It's cheap. It's like 12? Uh, red dot laser sight. Yeah. 10 or 12. 10. 10. 10? Ooh, yeah. perfect. And we have, if we've got 40 renown, then. Let's see. 40, 40 requisition, not renown. Requisition. Yeah, sorry. Wrong wrong word. It's 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 the word under it. Yeah, we it's fine. Close enough, right? Can we have no. No. Uh, so let's see. 25 for Hellfire <laughs> Rounds. Um, 35 for Hand Flamer. <laughs> and that's well past 40. Yeah. Same with the Dipole, dipole Maglock. 
Now that said, if people aren't using some of their requisition, it can be spread around. Do you want my two remaining requisition? I mean, I'd take a total of five. A total of I, five would be perfect. I can, I can give you my five because I'm only gonna get, I'm only gonna get hellfire rounds and a um, pray sense sight. Perfect. I got, That's I got gonna put me right at forty. If somebody wants my two extra. I guess forty-five. You're good. What was that? Page one sixty-one. Don't spend it all in one rule book. <laughs> cool. All right, so I got a hand flamer, a dipole mag maglock for my hand flamer, and some hellfire rounds for my bolt pistol. All right. Here's here's the real question: Are we gonna be are we gonna be fighting any? Mm, I, I should have asked. I should have asked. What do I still have time to ask for? Um, ask the one question to our, our yeah go ahead. leader. Um, do we expect any kind of weak hordes? Something that I can burn? With vanity being as hostile as it is, that is not expected. It's very likely that you will not be encountering any significant horde activity, as the environment itself will have killed them all at this time, if the raptors have not already done so. That's what I was afraid of. Okay. So, alright, I'm gonna instead, no, no dip dipole maglock, but, but red sight, uh, red laser, red sight laser. It's good for the pews. Sounds good. And that gives me ten points or five. Well, if if Brother Artenzo is not using his requisition, then that gives me ten points to play with. Ten points to bring uh, grenades for my friends. Oh, I can, I could spend that two on two crack grenades. I'll do that. I, I can offer a single point to the table. Uh, as well there's no telling how useful that can be mutated ogrens can't hit me if they can't see exactly. me exactly unless I roll badly and they can still hit me I know extremely well how important <laughs> battlefield knowledge is <laughs> and sorry sorry G sorry GM Jash I misspoke grenades for my family for my battle siblings. Family. <laughs> yeah. Do a family. I don't have friends. I have grenades. I mean family. <laughs> yes, exactly. That better be in Fast 10. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. All right, is everyone kitted out? I think so. Yep. I mean, I am at least. All right, fantastic. So, let's hop to the action. You are all deployed via Thunderhawk. This is a massive uh, plane, arguably, we'll call it. It is an aerial support vessel, troop transport, artillery thing. It goes winging out over vanity. The broken terrain below you, it's just tumbling and craggy and nasty. If you were to just drop one or two people off in the middle of it, you'd probably never notice them or see them again, because one, they'd be hiding behind all these fucking rocks, and two, well, I mean, vanity tends to kill people pretty quickly due to radiation and other terrible fucking hazards. So, it is of no surprise, unfortunately, when someone does take a pot shot at the Thunderhawk. The real surprise is they get a lucky hit in. And you are now going down. That's not ideal. Awesome. So. Uh, off to a rousing good start, eh? Yeah, I, ro I rolled some complications beforehand, and I know how this is going. The good news is, this is going to give each of you an opportunity to shine and show off what you do. The bad news is, is, uh, yeah, a lot of it's going to be going solo. As the Thunderhawk cracks open, and despite weighing close to, you know, a little bit more than half a ton each, you go tumbling out the side. 
descending into the uh, the lovely broken terrain. Well, now I I do know that some of you have something that you want to want to use. Those of you who are bouncing excitedly. Willow, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I don't know, Brain. <laughs> what are we gonna do tonight? <laughs> we're gonna jump out into this wreck and we're gonna kick some ass. Oh yeah, I'm definitely feeling that. All right. So I would like to activate my jump pack and okay. fly out of this bitch. All right. Uh, I would like to attempt to do the same <laughs> on on Brother Alvarez's heels. <laughs> All right, you are all tumbling out of the plane. You are being distributed amongst the uh, broken landscape here. Two of you have combat mobility that will allow you to pick where you land. Um, you can land together. You can both land with one person. You can each land with a different person. Or you can go solo YOLO. What do you want to do? Oh, I should probably grab someone. Uh, that is not happening. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Given, okay, well, you so... Can, you can land with them. For me personally, given given the history of our last mission, or of, of, of not our last mission, but our first mission together, and um, the, the nature of the warp, I am going to attempt to land near Brother K Kuma, because I forgot, forgot the character name, uh, and it's not showing up on Bro Brother Artenzo. There we go. <laughs> I was trying to delay for it to show back mm -hmm. up on screen, and I ran out of delaying tactics. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Sanctuary, you are you're really probably not having a great time with this, considering uh, your particular disadvantages. You're you're plummeting straight into hell with no sign of of, uh, of ground beneath you. I, I want to see that roll on your pilot personal, and you're gonna take a minus twenty on it. Okay, so help me, help sure. me. Ro well, actually, hold on. Let's see. Characteristics and skills, pilot personal. Gotta find it. Gotta find it. Where are you? Where are you? I saw you. I can't find it. Should be on the right hand side, about three quarters of the way down on the skills list. Oh, pilot. Per there it is. Yeah, yeah. With minus twenty. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, I look. Hell is everywhere, and I am but in it. Woohoo! Ooh. Minus six degrees of success. All right. That is that is intense. You uh you lose track of where the ground is. You lose the horizon. This is a problem. This is why jump packs and you get along minorly. You're mm. gonna you're gonna turf it. You're gonna absolutely turf it. Um I I I would like to attempt to to at least orient my feet towards the direction I'm falling and then stare out and embrace the sights of hell as hell is constantly <laughs> surrounding me. Alright. So you're going to slam into the ground with a shocking amount of force. We're going to resolve the damage all together in a moment. Uh, you're going to get an extra D10, though. <laughs> an extra D10? Great. <laughs> all right. V, uh, Metwick, what are you doing here? Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump out near Sanctuary, because uh, uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's clump up. Who knows? All right. Uh, and... Uh, so am I taking that minus 20 as well? No. Oh. Okay. Um, Just make a standard check. Standard check. Uh, Only reason I'm making you check is because you are... You're, this is an emergency bailout of a Thunderhawk that's been gutted. So, okay. yeah, that's that's not a traditional, like, oh, I'm just going to bounce over here. You're going to have to make a roll. Okay. Piloting? Pilot personal. On the right-hand side, about three quarters of the way down. Three quarters of the way down. I was also looking for pilot specifically, but pilot's the heading. Uh, and I guess I don't have a modifier to that, right? Correct. Okay. Boop. All right. Four point one. 
All right. Not only are you going to be able to land without damaging yourself, but you're also going to be able to land next to Sister Sanctuary as she slams directly into the ground. You, you, you good? <laughs> the rest of you are not so fortunate. Uh, we're going to roll some damage. Willow, that is for Sanctuary. 17. Ignores, okay. your, arm, ignores your armor, does not ignore your um, toughness. Okay, so calculating that. Mm -hmm. So if it ignores my armor but doesn't ignore my toughness, then how much toughness do I do? I have eight. How, okay, so eight is my toughness. Correct. You subtract the number of incoming damage. You subtract eight from the incoming damage number. Okay. Where does um, the eight come from? Because we didn't actually really do much damage last time. Unnatural toughness, right? Uh, real quick. Hmm? You were wrong on, on the amount of toughness that Sanctuary has. Oh, oh, my, my bad. I, I, you're right. I should have so, specified where that number comes from. So your toughness modifier is the ten digit. Of your toughness. Oh, duh, because toughness and is a skill. Yeah. Is characteristic. Or a, a stat. Yeah. And then you double that because you're a space marine, so you have ten. So you end up taking seven wounds. Shit. Wow. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. That. I get that. All right. Seven wounds. All right. So I have 15, 15 current wounds. Unless. What if. A, a fate point? I mean. Is that what you want to spend a fate point on right now, or do you want to wait for the bolters to start raining in? That's true. I'm going to wait for the bolters to, to start raining in. I, I figure, from my perspective, having been in drop pods, having been on in, in Thunderhawks, I'm used to this. I'm used to seeing nothing but hell surrounding me on in a sphere. Mm -hmm. So this is, just, this is just another day at work for me. All right. Now let's get to the next person for damage. Uh, we'll do we'll do Alvarex next. Okay, thank you. Oh, uh, okay. You're gonna eat twelve. Okay. Um, so it ignores your armor, does not ignore your toughness. And my toughness is. If you go to your second sheet. Yeah. You should see at the. Uh, weapons and talents about midway down there's your armor statistics and everything yeah if you subtract that top number from the bottom number you'll know what your toughness mod is uh, minus three I guess nine oh. minus 17 oh yeah oh, well really? 17 17 minus nine so it's eight okay. eight okay yeah. so then you're gonna take four wounds It's just the small bones in my feet. <laughs> small bones. Okay. Uh, we have heavy boots for a reason. Mm -hmm. Dan. Uh, Sister Ash is going to be tumbling out of this Thunderhawk. You're going to smash into a uh, bit of broken hill, rattle amongst the rocks a little bit, and you're going to take... You are exceedingly lucky. <laughs> That is four points of damage, which your toughness just shrugs completely off. Remember that time that none Safe. of us were apothecaries? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that didn't last long. <laughs> Don't look at me. I, I took a I took a weird one. <laughs> I, like, I think it's because it's like she's. I, I I envision Ash as being kind of small for a space, mm -hmm. especially because like her you know her melee weapon stat is absolute garbage, uh, and so she's just like drifts on the wind a little bit. <laughs> the, the idea of a space marine drifting on the wind will never fill me with anything but joy. On the one hand, though, you are in the scout armor, which is lighter, so. And we will we'll beat up the tech marine next. 16 for the tech marine. It ignores armor, does not ignore toughness. That is pain. I take 8. That's about half your health, isn't it? It is half my health, which means that I'm taking a critical wound here. Nope. Right? No? No. Okay, cool. You don't take critical wounds until you run out of wounds. Ah. 
I thought. And then, okay. then those add up real quick. Real quick. I have misconceptions that I see will be shattered. I'm happy for that. Yep. Okay. All right. And last, but certainly not least, Brother Artenzo. Our Excellent. blood our blood angel librarian. You're going to have to help me with these numbers. You got a parachute in that, Tabard? <laughs> right, you're going to take nine points of damage, reduced by... Reduced by twice your toughness mod. So, I heard you talking about the numbers, but because yep. you, you weren't on my sheet, I'm not 100% sure. So, weapons and talents, I'm looking at the the armor and defense. Mm -hmm. So, there's two ways you can derive your toughness value. It's automatically derived here, uh, but if you look at your characteristics, and then you look at your toughness, it's the first digit of your toughness. Okay. And then because you got unnatural toughness because you're a space marine, you double that. So eight points off. So I take one wound. One wound. Delightful. I'll, I'll, that, okay. And you are all outside of line of sight, barring the two uh, assault marines. You are next to each other with your jump packs. The rest of you are scattered to the winds, probably over a couple of kilometers as you tumble and are slung around. That means squad mode is not available to anyone outside of the two assault marines at this moment. You are going to be in solo mode for a bit. Okay. Uh, everyone has their equipment, everyone has their goals, their missions, and everything like that. Uh, the only thing you're missing, other than a couple of wounds, are your allies. Well, barring some of you. Uh, the assault marines have paired up together. It is a buddy cop adventure, I guess. And, uh, and that's where we're going to go for. So... Let's uh, let's start with who's the most remote. Which one of you fell the furthest away from the the others? No volunteers. All right. Sure, so, I'll volunteer. Oh wait. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Vraska, you ended up tumbling the furthest. Well, not really tumbling the furthest. We'll say that as the Thunderhawk was being ripped apart. Your servo arms clamped onto some substructure, and you were you were clinging in there for as long as you could. But the Thunderhawk itself just wasn't. The mis machine spirit was willing, but the machine body was uh, was weak, and it <laughs> and it uh, it eventually tore out, casting you to the earth, where you you landed pretty badly. And not only did you land badly, but you landed in a pretty bad spot as your mostly mechanical body skids to a stop. Uh, sparks coming off of your face as your mechanical uh, reinforcements rake over some flint you hear and you feel the heavy tread of something approaching you um that's not ideal uh <laughs> no, no it is not brother Vrasco would do his best to just bite down and get up move into a more advantageous position to hopefully try to get eyes on what's um, approaching him before it gets eyes on him. I would like to use my uh, auger array if I could. Yeah, go ahead. Give it a shot. That's a perception check. Yes. Cool. Um, and it allows me to have a reroll uh, on that. The auger does. Okay, where is the perception check? I am silly boy. How do I not know where this is? <clears throat> Perception. Awareness. Awareness. Uh, any modifiers? Just what's provided by your aspects, right? Which I think is 20, right? Correct. Boop. Uh, that's a 9. That's um, 5 degrees of success. Well then, uh, yeah, you are doing just fine. You spot, uh, lumbering over the uh, the crest of a rise coming towards you, these four or five figures, twisted, hunched over, kind of yellow-haired, knuckle-dragging creatures uh, with broken, twisted limbs. They look almost like some sort of combination between a man and a camel. Long muzzles and 
bent back. They're also about, eh, you know, approaching three meters tall or so. That's all. Okay. Um, I am going to deliver the Emperor's Justice. All right. right. Yeah, sounds good to me. Cool. Uh, I am going to use my heavy bolter. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to... Let's see, it's a rate of fire of 10, and if I'm not mistaken, I... When I use uh, fully automatic weapons, uh, any um, overkill damage can be allocated to somebody that's next to who uh, I'm shooting, uh, if I yeah. have uh, enough degrees of success. Okay, cool. So this is uh, going to be an aimed shot. So you're going to take a... Half action to aim, and then... And uh, Oh, it's a heavy weapon, isn't it? I can't do that. It has to be braced. Uh, uh, no, it doesn't have to be braced because you're a space marine. That is true. But full auto is a full action. Then in that case, I'm just going to be taking my plus 10 and uh, doing the thing. Plus 10? from Standard attack. All right. You're going to get plus 30 because it's full auto. Uh, I'm so glad you know the rules better than me. I mean, you can just pull, pull up the uh, cheat sheet. True. Which I would suggest everyone do. Disoriented space marine guns down local basketball team. Mortal. <laughs> Van Vanity college basketball will never be the same. Oh no! They're all three meters tall. They can go to the rim so hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. So. Oh, that's barely a degree of success, but you know what? Um, wow! You it. rolled. You rolled terribly. Congratulations. Absolutely terribly. All right, so you sling some bolter rounds down range. Uh, go ahead and roll damage. We'll see how ineffective you can really be. I got a I've... one and a ten. And a ten. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, well, you do get Righteous Fury, so roll that ten. There you go. Twenty-nine points damage. So let me run some numbers real quick. All right. Yeah, the uh, the bolter runs go in with uh, that's your heavy bolter, right? The heavy bolter. They go they go in, they go down range, nail this guy, and it just seems to kind of shrug it off. The most you do is piss it off. Uh, they rush you. They they run in and close the distance, and before you know it, you are caught up, tangled in a one to one. Uh, encounter with one it's not ideal either uh, <clears throat> he used his action to get to me I'm going yeah. to uh, uh, use my reaction to uh, attack with my Astarte servo arm once he gets within melee attack of me uh, oh that's so close that is painful um, okay uh, and then uh, I will um, so I use my reaction when he got into uh, range with me mm -hmm. then I'm going to that uh, starts the round over so my reaction recharges I'm going to use my Astartes bayonet to attack him uh, this is going to be uh, a called shot I'm going for the head so that's a where's the Called shot one. I'm a silly little boy. Sorry, chat. Um, I should just open the big cheat sheet. I'm being so silly. You should. Okay. Charge. Excuse me, not charged. Called shot. Uh, called shot is a minus twenty to hit. Okay, so I have a feeling that it's probably gonna. Oh no, that is atrocious. Well, I wouldn't have hit on that anyway. Uh, my reaction has recharged, however, and I will uh, serve warm again. Oh my goodness gracious! Betrayed by the game. <laughs> All right, so you are getting beaten down in this skirmish by by this twisted ogren. The uh, the ogren's gonna make a swing at you here.
Oh no. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that's definitely a hit. <laughs> and you've already used your reaction to attack, so you can't use your reaction to parry. No, that's correct. All right, so gigantic mod cleaver comes down and cuts in and does a great 16 points damage. Where is it? Well, it doesn't matter where it's hitting me. Uh, assuming it doesn't... I mean, is it going to explode on me? No. You're... Oh, well, that's good. That, that, thank you. That's, um, not a, that's not a named NPC. That's just Twisted Ogre number one of five. Okay, so the good news is that does not get through my, my soak. Uh, my... Um, it gets right through, like, it, it gets through my armor. He hits me in a weak spot, but, um, yeah, my, my, uh... Your topic, meaty body takes it. My uh, cybernetic body takes it. <laughs> okay. All right. Back around to you. Please, Emperor, shine your light upon me. There it goes. Oh, that's good. Um, Chainsword bayonet starting to go. Okay, damage. That's not great. Um, 16 combined with what you did before? Yeah, that's enough. Oh, cool. All right. So your chain bayonet goes in, digs deep into this ogren, and uh, and guts it pretty good. Oh, yeah. Gears of War. Nice. Gears of War. I don't always stab ogrens with a heavy bolter, but when I do, it makes a mess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So the other four did hang back while this guy charged. They were just like, what is this glorious bounty from the sky? Let's beat it up. And uh, they watched the, the beatdown ensue, and you've still got range on them. Now they are going to absolutely get it. Uh, you say that. I'm going to do my damnedest. Okay, Big Cheat Sheet says that if I want to, uh, I can't really do anything other than uh, just full auto here, so it's just a plus 20. Okay, that's, yeah, it's a full auto weapon, that's all I, that's my only option. I'll take four, I'll take four. All right, that's four, yeah, that's four degrees of success. Uh, are you going to walk it across all of them, so one gets one, one gets one, one gets one, one gets one? That sounds perfect, I would love to do that. All right, they are clustered up for that. Ouch, ouch, lord, wow. Fuck yeah. Yeah, definitely uh, the heavy bolter chugs right along. The fragments of bone and weird camel hide shake loose of the bayonet as the, uh, the bolter rounds fly out. And you mow these other uh, twisted ogren absolutely down. They just fall one after another. And you're left a little bit worse for wear, but you, you just wrestled with a twisted ogren and then uh, cut down his buddies. After, like, taking only a momentary respite, Braska is going to look around for a vehicle to commandeer <laughs> so that he can potentially pick up his battle siblings on the way in route to mission. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you, uh, you see over the hill that they were on, there's the... Uh, it would be generous to call it a jeep at this point. It has been cobbled together, and five ogren were piled into it. So it's like, maybe like a half track, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it's got that, got got there somewhere between a truck and a and a tank, and it's idling would be another very optimistic way to put it. It is coughing into the dust, asthmatically, desperate for the end of its days. Uh, are you gonna try and coax that machine spirit? That's exactly what I'm going to do. So using my ability of Technolingua, I'm going to try and... Um, I feel like the best skill for me to use here would be Intimidate because it is a... Um, it's probably been corrupted a little bit by Chaos, and I'm saying that if it uh, if it does not do one last thing for uh, the Omnisaya, I will uh, never let it go to meet the uh, great 0101 in the cloud. That would actually be tech use. Okay, that's fair enough. I'll take that too. Um, we take those, chat. Boop. Uh, any modifiers beyond my, um, like, any negatives to it because it's probably fucked up? No, it wants to get out of here, same as you do. Okay. And it's it's much more looking forward to being ridden by a space marine rather than <laughs> five ogren and their buddies. 
Hey, I'm happy. But can you that. use that machine spirit to make art or write an essay? <laughs> no. Oh god. It just wants to splatter the uh, enemies of the Imperium. God damn it. Uh, can I use a fate point, please? For what? I got a <laughs> 92 on that roll. Yeah, but what do you want to use the fate point for? Um, could I please use it to re-roll? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, Go ahead. yeah. I'm a tech marine. Does that allow me to... I would have written that down somewhere. No, I don't think it does. It just gave me the ability to use tech use. I have to take extra stuff for that. Okay, so just spending a fate point to re-roll. That is not any better. Okay. Unfortunate. Well, eventually Vraska does get the... Uh the engine to turn over, and it goes about 200 meters, and then immediately dies. <sighs> Raska will <laughs> reluctantly kind of just, like, get out of the jeep, look at the road, and just start hoofing it. <laughs> uh, you are in at least proximity that you know where each other are. The Vox communication is currently not possible due to radiation and other interference but you do have location on each other it looks like we have a convocation of cats nice oh, yeah. i have several cat vocation all right so that's vraska for this one uh we're gonna bounce to the assault marines so sister sanctuary and brother alvarex you are uh, perched atop the broken ground, having a grand old time next to each other, and as you survey your surroundings, you start to notice, you know, those, those enhanced senses start picking up things and feeding you data, and you could swear that you remember this very vividly, that your watch captain said, the likelihood of hordes would be low, then they would not be surviving. The low doesn't mean that they're not there. Well, he is from the White Scars, and as a Raven Guard, I don't trust him at all, so. <laughs> I really should have brought my flamer, Brother Alvarex. Flamer, brother. Um, <laughs> Uh, brother, brother Alvarex, do you see, do you see any structures out there, like, like the the castle we're aiming, the keep uh, we're aiming to get? I'm gonna take an awareness check. Sure, you do that, buddy. Uh, you know my eyesight's not too good. Well, per <laughs> it's perception, yeah. Uh, there should be an awareness skill. Awareness skill. On the first page, on the right-hand side, it's the first skill under basic. Okay. I think I have, like, a, a modifier to awareness? You do, because of your, uh... Plus 15. Yep. Yeah, okay. Your very cool armor. Good old Mark 6. Birdie oh, boy. Mark 6. I'm a beaky. No speaky, only beaky. Yes. Cheeky breaky. Mm -hmm. Four oh, four to... Yeah. So... Two or three things become really obvious. One, yes, you can see the structure. Two, uh, yeah, it's very well entrenched with a lot more chaos than you thought was going to be here. They they may have baited you. Like, this may have been a debate. Second thing you notice is your situation is about to get very, very tricky. As... What you can only imagine is some broken combination of robotics, chaos augmentation, and servitor type tech scrambles out from beneath these rocks. Their skin is sloughing off, the radiation burns are quite obvious, uh, the mechanics that drive their body are sparking, and in some cases smoking, scorching the skin off of them. But these, these creatures are moving towards you, and they are moving with a purpose and with an unnatural amount of speed. They're gambling over these rocks like just, it's nothing. Triple jointed limbs, mechanical actuators whining, uh, spring driven feet racing them towards you in bounding leaps. Uh, 
Can we perceive just like a, a rough count of how many there are? Yeah, it's a magnitude 50 horde. <laughs> okay. So anyway, um, are they faster than we are with our jump packs? No. Well, brother, so should we, have, we... We either get stuck in, or we kite them. <laughs> we could kite them. We could fire... We could... We could... Uh, tactically withdraw. But... Um, are we... Do you think that using our bolters would cause the attention of others? Well, I only got a bolt pistol. So I don't know how much I'm really well, going to inflict. Our pistols. Uh, we could huck some frag grenades. That would be a start. Do you see any... Before, while we still have time, do you do you see any, any um, sign of where our battle siblings could be? Uh... Would I have to make a check for that? No, you both have them on the locators. Okay. So we know where they are. Yeah, absolutely. Where's our Where's our closest Where's our closest com companion? Uh, that's going to be Sister Ash. Sister Ash, how far out is Sister Ash? Uh, about one and a half kilometers. Okay. How fast do How fast can we move in these things? You can haul pretty well, yeah. I can haul. What do you think, Brother Avarex? Should we go meet Sister Ash, or should think, we have some fun? I think we should call this fortuitous recon, um, and we could just fall back, because uh, I think getting stuck in on a mob that big, it, it could, we could get bogged down uh, in, in, in a bad way. Uh, it's, ni it's nice to have support. Like, you know, I, if, if I'm going to go down, you know, die, and I, I don't mind being back-to-back -back with you at all, but maybe we don't have to die. Right. Later, but not now. I don't really... I'm, I'm looking over the cheat sheet right now. I don't really have anything. I I don't have, like, a, like a death-from-above type deal, do I? I do. You do? Yeah, I got Wrathful Descent. So I get additional d10 damage to horde magnitude after a successful melee attack. You know, I also have an oath of vengeance. So if you go in with a wrathful attack and you take damage, then I, I help help enrage you on behalf of the emperor and give a plus four damage bonus to all attack rolls against this horde. Does that does that account for the horde as a single unit? Is it like plus four for all of them? For the entire horde? And the horde counts as a single unit for uh, purposes of legend. Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Um. So we can. Okay. We can cause some havoc. I have I have a rules question, which is. I have a rules you, answer. Can you combine swift attack with wrathful descent? So swift attack is two melee attacks as a full action, and wrathful descent is. Oh, I guess it's because after a charge it won't work. That's right. the answer. It's a charge. Oh, mm. man, that'd be great. And you you only get the one attack after it. Booey. <laughs> but what you can do, what you can do, and I'm giving you this one as as a bonus. You can hit with wrath with wrathful descent. Take your next round to scoot back, and then the round after that, wrathful descent. Scoot back. Ooh. Typical and you can guard. attack, fall back, attack. And while you fall back, you can do a half move, and then use the other half move to fire your pistol into them as you disengage. Sure. That sounds great. Now there is a downside to that. Oh. Uh, there always is. <laughs> Every time you do that, you're going to be disen you're going to be leaving melee combat without disengaging. Unless you want to take the disengage, which I mean, it doesn't move you very far and it wouldn't really get you what you need. So you're going to be taking a hit every time you bop out. 
attacks parry? of opportunity. You can parry it. Wait, nope. Uh, horde attacks cannot be parried or dodged. Damn it. Because <laughs> it's like 18 dudes hitting you with sticks. But you know what I... You know, we have a we have a large horde of the Emperor's enemies in front of us. I have this handy-dandy blind grenade. Ooh. Yeah, let's, let's lob that. 18 dudes hitting me with sticks. That's my Saturday night. Would you like uh, to have some fun, brother? Yes. Sister Sanctuary, let's go. Let's see. Okay. Right. So you're going to heave SB. this grenade. SB times three. Uh, what is my what is my SB? What is my... Strength bonus. Strength bonus. Oh. And I get double with unnatural strength, don't I? Correct. Um, so... So is that just gonna, is that going to be a ten or is that going to be a hundred and two yards? I got one second. <laughs> You're a space marine, so yes. <laughs> <laughs> I where guess my you, question. Where are you reading this so I can be on the same page as you? Um. So 151, the Astartes blind grenade. My range being SP times three. Uh, is what would my what would my strength? Okay, so strength bonus would just be the bonus, which would be yeah. what ten. Yeah. A plus 10. Okay, so 10 times 3, 30, I guess 30 yards for a throw? 30 meters, but yeah. 30 meters, okay, okay. How far away are they? Close enough that you could throw that at them. I'm going to lob that freaking grenade. Okay. That, uh, that's a half action, right? Or is uh, it throwing, free because throwing a grenade is a half, uh Throwing a grenade is a half action. Okay. Let's, let's, yes. Okay. Throw a grenade. You don't even have to roll. We're just going to go with it. Okay. And... I should have really asked if it's going to work on those um, half mechanical... Oh, yeah. It blocks uh, infrared. It blocks UV. blocks EM. It blocks eyesight. Oh, good. Uh, uh, as I throw the grenade, I want to scream, be as blind as me. <laughs> In the face of the glory of the Emperor. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. So you've got enough cover for four rounds easily. That's not a problem. So you're going to advance. Yeah? Yep. yep. All right. Beaky Boy, Absolutely. is that what... Uh, is that your opportunity there? Yeah. Wrathful Descent on the Horde. So you charge. So I'm plopping in. Um, and I guess I'd make my attack. Uh, with all the modifiers from a charge. Uh, what would that be? <laughs> it's on the big cheat sheet. Big cheat sheet. But cheat sheet. But cheat sheet. But cheat sheet. Uh, attack and... Look at uh, combat actions, charge. Big cheat sheet. The big one. Uh, oh, charge. Get plus ten bonus to weapon skill test made at the end of charge. Oh, yep. Okay. So then you make your attack with plus ten. Plus ten. Can I just roll? You should be able to roll it right off your sword. And a hit, plus 10. So, nah. 4.5. All right, 4.5 degrees of success is plenty. Okay. Go ahead and roll your damage first. Nice. That reduces the magnitude by one, so you're at 49. Uh, was that just, I just clicked the damage thingy that there's no strength modifier, right? Yeah, there should be a strength modifier on there. Or is that, like, already factored in? Should be already factored in. Okay, okay. And now roll for your Wrathful Descent, D10. D10. Uh, Damn it! <laughs> Magnitude down to 47. Oh my god! So, you guys have cool powers, you just can't roll for shit. Yeah. Yeah, so basically. <laughs> Hey, Dylan, how's it going, buddy? All right, so, yeah, 
Uh, Sister Sanctuary, you threw your grenade. You still have your half action. Do you want to do anything with it? Uh, I would love, I would love to do something with it. Uh, I'm assuming. Well, so I've thrown that. I can't really engage there. If I, if I, um, just attack with my, uh, since I'm still at range, if I just attack with my bolt pistol, do I run the risk of hitting Brother Alvarex? No. Uh, yeah, then let's do that. Let's, um, really, really want to throw, really want to throw a frag grenade, uh, but that probably would hit Brother Alvarex, because it's a, an explosive. I, I will, I will give away one of the secrets of Death Watch here. Mm-hmm. One of the most effective tactics you can use as the Space Marine is to drop grenades at your feet. Okay, cool. I'd love to uh, throw a grenade at um at, at Brother Alvarex's feet. <laughs> Still Sounds feet. good. <laughs> yeah. There's a re- um, there's a, there's actually a reason for this. Oh, fun. Okay, so that's yeah. Okay, so that's gonna take me down to down to two grenades. Um, okay. What a how do I how do I roll for that basically? Do I have do I need to roll for hit? We're just gonna speed this one along. Okay, so just roll roll for damage. Yep. Eleven. All right. So let me look at something real quick here. Uh, frag grenade. Where art thou? Last eight devastating one. Lord. What's devastating do? Oh yeah, I remember now. In most situations, it really is. I like explosives and fire. That's why I bring hand flamers and frag grenades. I'm about it. One second. All right, I'm gonna need you to roll that uh, seven more times. Huh, okay. You have blast eight. Mm-hmm. Five, six, seven. Yeah. All right. Uh, it looks like two of those had um, the what's that thing called? Righteous, Righteous fury. Yeah. Fury. Yeah. Go so roll 2d10? Mm -hmm. Well, roll 1d10 twice. Okay. Oh, okay. And roll it again because I had another 10? Yeah. Damn. 18 plus 16. 34 damage from that one grenade. Oh my god. Oh, so that's why. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Well, here's the neat thing. So that's a blast 8 pattern. Eight, it's about eight meters around. Shatters everything there. The first one we rolled was how much damage Alveric takes. That's eleven. Oh. What's your uh, what's your toughness, Alveric? It's uh nine. And your and your armor. Uh, Seventeen. Oh. So so he takes nothing. Yeah. As and you just paint. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, and you reduce the magnitude significantly there. So yeah, that's one of the secrets of the game is drop grenades at your feet because it can't hurt you, but it can definitely clear out hordes. Your three, like my seven, my, yeah, my three, your seventeen. It's about even, really. I think so. You know, like uh, yeah. Uh, to be fair, I can only do that three times unless we find it a cache of grenades. That's fine. <laughs> there's always more grenades. There's always more grenades where those those came from. Uh, but yeah, you chuck a grenade out, and it doesn't quite hit Alveric like at at his feet it actually hits one of his greaves bounces off and comes up at such an angle that one of these skittering creatures takes it square in the neck and you watch it not just hit the neck but the the mechanical vertebrae shatter and splinter out with such force that the other creepy crawly behind it is trying to wipe like debris out of his goggles as the grenade goes off. Perfection. Sick. Absolutely rips them apart. Hell yeah. Alright, 
uh, their turn. They're going to be making some attacks, like a bunch of them. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. Well it's just blinded. Well, well blinded and being, you know, hit with sticks and stuff. Let me find my stat block here. Yeah? Please, probably my stat block. Good, probably a good thing we ended up on, like, a hellish torn up planet with the amount of explosions that have already happened within about 30 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> just you wait. Oh, yeah, we're just getting started. You thought it was hell before. Right. At the rate that we're all rolling, all them perils. Mm -hmm. All them perils from the warp up in here. Mm. And this time nobody's around to pick you up with a claw. <laughs> you get a peril. <laughs> you get a peril. <laughs> well, you have to roll under, right? Yeah, I'm seeing okay. some high numbers. That's okay. It's <laughs> pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Right. right? right? Works for me. Ooh, 94. All right. Yeah. Okay, I'm good with that. But what does he have to roll under? <laughs> see, you see, so here's our here's our secret. We roll for shit, but it rubs off on you too. Yeah, I, I roll like shit too. Great, fantastic. Everybody's cursed. We're it's all fine. Lay mentors. Let's go. <laughs> all in this together. Look, if we're all cursed, nobody's cursed. So a couple of auto pistol rounds go off, and they they deflect off of your pauldrons. Again, Sister Sanctuary. This doesn't trouble you at all. They don't don't get anywhere near your armor. There's no possible way I can roll high enough. So I'm just going to save myself the embarrassment. And uh, they, they thrash around with some combat knives and some flayed open fingers and other, other nasty stuff. And Brother Elvarex, you, uh, you don't even have to dodge. They're more clawing themselves trying to get to you than, than anything else. My armor is a fortress. Yeah. And their, their incompetence is like the sort of Damocles itself for them. Alright, uh, top of the initiative order, that would be Sister Sanctuary. What you gonna do? Um, what's the, ma what's the magnitude left? Uh, we have magnitude 42 left. 42, okay. Um, I, I'm just gonna charge in there. Yeah. So charge would just be making an attack with a modifier plus 10, right? As long as you've got four meters of space to move and then smash into them with a melee weapon, yes. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, um, um, is parrying a free action? Parry is a reaction. You get one per round. You cannot parry against uh, melee, uh, against swords, yeah. Okay. So roll to hit for sword? With a plus 10 because you charge. Yeah, exactly. Uh, plus 30 because of magnitude 30. Uh, horde. Be add 30 because what? Because the magnitude of the horde. Okay, Sorry. so add 30 total or add 30 on top of the 10? 30 on top. Okay, so 40. 8.1. My god. Alright, you tear in with uh, Grievous Might. Go ahead and roll your damage. Okay. How many, uh, single attack, or single bit of damage? Ooh! can live with that. Yep, 17 is enough to knock magnitude down. Yeah? Yep. There you go. That's your round. Okay. Don't get anything special with balanced or tearing? Or is uh, it auto-calculated? Tearing is auto... Well, tearing should have been calculated. Roll an extra d10. I forgot that it doesn't do that for us automatically. Already 10. Oh, I'm really hoping for that green. You're fine. Okay. Extra 2. And balanced is just um, a defensive bonus. Also, tearing doesn't add. Tearing is you roll an additional d10 and you drop the lowest. Ah, gotcha. So you roll 2d10, but you only keep the highest. But it does oh. increase your odds for things like Righteous Fury and so on. So I should have done that last time. I guess. It, it's really kind of moot at that point. Okay. With, the, with the amount that you're doing. Like... This is a hard fight for you because it is a horde versus a couple of melee dudes, but mm -hmm. hey, thanks for the sub. 
Um, then it would go to Brother Alverix with uh, the other Assault Marine action. I'm going to be swift attacking, so that's two melee attacks as a full action. Okay, so you're just going to stick in? Yeah. All right. Um, it. And so... Plus yeah. 30 because they're size? Plus 30. Boop. Oh, come on. <laughs> that's, still, that's still a hit. Okay. And boop, 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 boop. Come on! That's a mess. Uh, why? How do you... <laughs> okay, anyway. Damage. Uh, yay. You is that, why is that? Weapon as well. Yeah, re-roll, re-roll that. Okay. Oh, that's better. That's a lot better. And do you have anything like Death is Joy or anything cool like that for your armor? I do. Got to keep uh, track of that stuff. I should. I have it written down somewhere. Don't I? Is it in your bio and in, in info tab? Oh. Plus two damage to any attacks that do crit damage, plus one horde damage. There you go. Okay. You have pushed them below the 40 range now. And that was your full attack. That's all you're doing. It's their turn. So they're going to bash on you with some uh, some blades and stuff. So for my uh, for my chapter my my chapter ability, mm -hmm. um, my my squad mode attack my oath of vengeance. Do I actually have to take wounds for that to trigger, or do rounds harmlessly tinking off of my armor? Have to take triggers. Sorry. Have to take a wound. Okay. Cool. Yep. I All right. have triggered it on the planet and just started punching the planet. I was thinking that earlier, like. <laughs> Uh, there's some silly stuff in some other games you can do with, with things like that that are just wrong Have and broken. Have you heard the good word of corn lately? <laughs> do not fight the planet. <laughs> fight the power. Save the planet. Come on, get it right. That's what Final Fantasy VII taught us. Right. All right. So, this horde is uh, not being very effective at shooting anybody or stabbing anybody. That's okay, neither are we. I said neither are we. <laughs> True. It's a good uh, slap fight, though. It is a good slap fight. Alas, I can't throw just a master level enemy at you just to trigger your cool stuff there, Elvarix, but we'll maybe next time. Okay. <laughs> so, if only. If only I had my lightning claws. Yeah, if only everyone had lightning claws, that'd be yeah. great. All right, so we're going to fast forward this a bit because they literally cannot damage you at this rate. There's there's no way that they can actually do that. So you slaughter amongst them in a gratuitous fashion. Start pulling them apart and say, say like, from the Matrix that uh, clearly we don't know about. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. Right. Uh, yeah, even if they were to roll damage, that they would not really do much for it. So, Godspeed. So basically, you you you've given us you've given us a horde a, a a horde of like fifty dudes, who we can just walk through because they can't hurt us. Yeah, I mean they're gonna impede you a lot because they're gonna cling on to you and so forth. Don't make me get out horde grappling rules. Don't make me do it. <laughs> this is like that that website okay, you don't where have you to. could you could put in your stats like your your vital stats and find out how many toddlers you could fight. Oh god. I was say, have you ever tried to like walk with a kid hanging on your leg? Yeah. <laughs> it's like wading through this horde. <laughs> Alright. So we're going to skip now to Sister Ash. As you two are tangled in a mess of chaos cultists that aren't really doing much to you. Can I make a check to to laugh loud enough that somebody else hears it? I don't actually well, want to do that. I just, I, I'm just like, having a good time. I think Sister Ash could actually probably hear that if you if you started laughing loud enough. It's it's couple, it's less than two miles away. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah, I'm gonna do that then. I'm actually gonna do that then. 
I just start laughing. Just yeah. guffawing, cackling. No. Note to self, add noise marines. Right, okay. No. <laughs> oh yeah, they're coming. No. Alright, Sister Ash, you are uh, barely scuffed, kind of chilling out. I like What's to think the plan? I actually landed the three-point superhero. <laughs> oh no, okay. I, uh, listen, <laughs> I don't know how many other times I'm going to get away with no damage, so I'm going to take what I can get. Right. Um, okay. Uh, who's, who's nearest to me, and is, do I have approaching threats? Yeah, you have approaching threats. Okay. But there is also, um, the two assault marines are still the closest to you. All right. Um... As long as I, we'll we'll go with that, I can hear this uh, bloodthirsty cackling, mm -hmm. and I will orient myself in that direction and start moving that way, unless there is something in between me and that. Something in between being like another host. <laughs> another host. Uh, yeah. Um, horde, yeah. <laughs> no, nothing quite so dire. But you do notice one thing. Yeah? There's a glint of pink and purple out in the landscape that just barely shows up for a moment or two. About how far away? Uh, one or two hundred meters, somewhere in that range. Okay, uh... I'll pop out I'll pop out my big shiny rifle and take a gander down the scope at, in that direction so uh, yeah go ahead and roll awareness we'll we'll see how well you spot this all right I just click the awareness button on the sheet right yep does your scope give you any benefits uh, scope specifically gives benefits to targeting um, like if I don't have to, or, or I get, I don't, I don't take penalties at range when I do okay. weapons checks, as long as I take the full action to aim, but it just sort of like lets me see down it. Do I have anything for, no, I actually don't have anything specific for just like general awareness checks okay. other than the, the skill boost that I got mm. for it. Uh, do I put a modifier in for this? If you are using auto senses and everything, you get a plus 10, I believe. All right, so 10. Okay. Okay. All right. You see... You catch this in time with four degrees of success. There is a, a rock that moves aside as if on a hinge behind this figure as it emerges from the uh, evidently hidden bunker or caves beneath vanity in this area. Hmm. And it is a crater marine. Fuchsia-colored armor, ribbons peeling off of the horns on the helmet, just vibrant pink colors, and it is moving with a purpose, but not with a lot of, like, rush. It's moving towards your allies. So they evidently got a chance to cry out for help, or maybe it heard the, the cackling of Sister Sanctuary, but reinforcements are on the way. It hasn't noticed you, though, yet. Well, that's good. Sexy times. That's, that's great news. Oh, yeah. <laughs> In fact... <laughs> The cod, the cod piece is like vibrating like a phone on a table. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Um. <laughs> well. <laughs> Jesus. I'm going to go ahead. And while I'm just sort of like eye tracking their, their movement, I'd like to take a 
full aim action. Okay. Uh, and then on your next round. And, and then on the next round, we are we are gonna take the shot. All right, Sister Ash posted up. Got the uh, Astarte sniper rifle rocking. Make the roll. All right. And if I if I'm correct on correct me on this, make sure I have it mm -hmm. right. Aim gives me plus twenty. Yeah. Telescopic sight means I don't take distance penalty, but I think it is within range anyway. It is within range. Uh, and then tactician, I get an extra ten bonus for ballistic skill test. Correct. So plus thirty. The math adds up. All right, let's do it to him. Fuck him up. Let's go. 4.4 degrees of success. Nice. All right, let's hope it's enough. All right, uh, I I rolled damage. Roll damage. Guy All right. just woke up to get his like mail order sex toys from his PO box. And then here he is getting blasted apart. Two things to note on this: mm -hmm. I get a plus two damage because of tactician. Really? Is it plus yes. two damage? Plus or two plus damage. Two plus two to damage when firing a bolt weapon. Is this a bolt weapon? Should be. The Astarte sniper rifle is not a bolt weapon. Oh, it's not. Never mind. Never mind. Let's see. Okay. Mm, yep, you're right. But it is toxic, and I have accurate felling one. Yeah. So what does that do for us? Uh, I had it a moment ago. Accurate felling. Scrolling, 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 scrolling. Yeah. Accurate would have accurate would have given you an extra plus ten, so that would have been another degree of success. Oh, nice. And when firing a single shot from an accurate weapon, uh, it does an extra d10 of damage for every two degrees of success. So you're gonna roll two extra dice for damage. Very cool. Two d10. Two d10. Ugh. That's a little sad. It is. And it has felling one, so it's going to ignore one of their uh, unnatural toughness. And, and toxic is going to give it a penalty test or take additional damage. I also... Uh, there's so many things with this. There are so uh, many things. There's so many things. Uh, one of my raptor trappings gives me an increase of penetration value equal to my perception bonus. Really? Yes. Nice. Uh, which my perception bonus, I think, is four. Okay. Right? So what's, 49? what's the penetration on your sniper rifle? Uh, zero naturally. That's unfortunate. That's rough. That is not. That is rough. So four. All right. So that takes to six, and we've got 14, so that's five, toughness. You do one point of damage. Oof. Which is enough to trigger toxic. Hey, I'll take it. All that for a drop of blood. Yep, so I have to roll a toughness check, am I correct? Let me... I have all of these things open, like, over... <laughs> Ammo. Oh, is this the wrong sheet to be looking at? Yeah, you're going to be looking on page 145 for weapon special qualities. It is, yeah, toughness bonus must be made where every... Yeah, yeah oh, there it is. I... I think you just failed by two. Like, I think you just failed by two. A? A? Yeah, failed by two. So he takes yeah. another d10 of damage. You want to roll d10 damage for me? Yeah, you got it. Four. 
All right, he's taken five. Not bad. And he definitely has now noticed you. I reload. Wait, I don't have to reload. I still have more shots. Yes, I you do, do it again. Uh, let's see, 200 meters away. He's going to be running for a little bit. So yeah, go ahead and... Are you going to aim and take another shot? Are you steady up like that? Or are you just going to... Uh, I think I'm just going to shoot. I I don't have the penalty, so I'm not going to worry too much, I think. Okay. Uh, so that's only plus 10 instead of plus 30. Oh, no. Oh, plus, no. Yeah. yeah that, Tragic. That's, yeah. Watch as you absolutely botch this roll. I, I, you, you put, don't you put that... Okay. Don't you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> a barest <laughs> success. Okay, I was like, that that still counts, right? That still It does. It does. You're very unlikely to do any damage, but let's see it. Roll the damage. Yeah, here we go. Not enough. Oof. That just shatters off of the uh, the armor. He's still trucking. There begins to be an unnatural howling arising. And it's not a howl of anger. It's not a howl of pain. It's one of those howls that you know that when this guy gets there, they're going to have a good time. And you're not. In a fight, right? In a fight. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we are going to... I'm in level with you. Your best option is going to be able to aim, because then you yeah. get the benefit of the accurate. And it's... Yeah. It's critical. We're gonna do that. We're, we're absolutely gonna do that. We're gonna aim this time. Nice. Who knew aiming helped? Who knew aiming was such a good thing? So, we're gonna make that plus 30 again. And it's that bad. Do you want to spend a fate point to re-roll? How many turns do I have before they get to me? Uh, three. Yeah, let's do it. All right. How do I how do I mark that I've spent that? Uh, you can use one of the fate cards that I left on there for you. Just drop it in the like that. Yep. Yeah, there we go. We go, we go again! Okay. It counts. <laughs> you are still missing? Goodness. Wait, a, oh, that's a minus? Oh, looks, oh, wow. Looks like a plus on my screen. Uh, well, this right. is bad. This yep. is going very badly. So, two rounds to go. Boy, do I hate this. Um, what distance are they at now? Uh, they are, at this point, tens of meters away. Tens of meters. Okay. So you, oh, will, be getting the, you will be getting the bonus from being in uh, close range. It's a plus ten from short range, or whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, as much as I'd love to try one more sniping, I'm afraid that it's going to be a pro. Well... I'm debating whether or not to switch weapons. You can aim as a half action and fire, so I think, I mean, it's not the worst weapon, it's not the best weapon, but. Yeah. Uh, I'll go ahead and take, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll half action aim and then fire. All right. Please, please space deities. God Emperor protects. Nope. Holy shit. Do you want to try re-rolling again? How do fate points regenerate again? Uh, occasionally. Occasionally. No, uh, I think, I think we just gotta, we gotta recognize that this one is not going as planned. Uh. Alright, you have one more round before he's on you. What do you I'm do? Gonna, I'm gonna swap to my bolter. Okay. Uh, 
and I would like should I load in one of my one of my other ammunitions? What ammo do you so have? Many. I have Stalker, Metal Storm, and Hellfire. Hellfires are pretty nasty. Let's go ahead and pop that clip in there. Okay, it's you they're all already loaded because you've oh. got ammo select. Lovely. We we love that. Okay. Uh and they are well within range. I'm just gonna go full auto on him. Where is there we go. So that should be plus twenty, right? Or thirty, because my plus ten. I think it's plus thirty, yeah. 4.6. Okay. And you're using your bolter? Yes. And did you fire that in full auto, you said? In full auto. What's your full auto rate of fire then? Four. It's not a lot, but... Uh, that's sufficient. Yeah. All right. So you're going to roll damage four times? Yep. Question. Uh, yep. Does this one count as a bolt weapon? It does. So that's plus two to each damage roll? Yes. Let's dance. And also, uh, you roll Righteous Fury on a nine or a ten rather than just a ten. Uh, two of these seem to have Righteous Fury. Uh, actually, this one mm -hmm. here, the second one, has a nine and a ten. Okay, so... And the last one has a 9 as well. Yeah, this is going to be nasty. So another 4d10? Uh, roll 1d10 once for the first one. 2. Alright, roll 2d10 for the second one. 13. And 1d10 for the last one. 7. Right. Ouch. I think I think like after the second or third shot just kind of like ricochets from her sniper rifle. She's just gonna like kind of drop it to the ground in disgust. Like, <laughs> just like ugh, fine, and she's gonna pull out the, the bolter and just open. Alright. So yeah, you you open fire with the bolter and it takes three shots before it is toast. The first one shatters the carapace armor on the on the chest. The second one drifts down and uh, craters a leg. The third one ends up taking out an arm, and the fourth one just absolutely pulps the uh, the helmet as this chaos marine goes down. <sighs> I'm gonna put the uh, bolter away and pick up the rifle again. I'm just gonna kind of point at it. Just like, <laughs> now we talked about this. <laughs> do better and I'm gonna uh, my scout armor has the ability to calm to any other death watch unit within 35 kilometers so I'm gonna call it's like alright sound off where are we at so about that mm. yours is actually the only one with a vox powerful oh. enough to cut through this jamming scout armor has enhanced vox capabilities nice it's about all it's good for, but it's not true. I'm just, I'm just picking. All right, so you get, uh, you get comms to Ash. You can talk to Ash, and Ash can talk to you, but that's it. She is asking you to sound off. What do you say, other than laughter and uh, maniacal chain sword sounds? Um, uh. So like I'm I'm recovering from my laughter. <laughs> it's like <laughs> uh, Sanctuary and Alvarex here. What's going on? Well, feel like we're expected a little bit. 
Uh, maybe a little. Maybe a little. I think the uh, the Thunderhawk cracking open may have been our first clue. Have you <laughs> have you heard from Vraska or or K K brother brother Kuma? <laughs> the delay is never there. It's never there. Or Artenzo? It's just like, it's Alvarex. No, it's not Alvarex. Which one? It's an A. You're the first Have you heard from the others? Back. Let's see if we can get him. All right. Artenzo. You are tumbled, broken, battered. Uh, how much damage did you end up taking? Like, uh, two. Okay, so you're... you're you're bruised. Yeah, hold on, let me let me take another peek. But it was not a lot at all. Sorry, it was one. I took one wound. Nice. So yeah, you're you're barely even scratched from all this. Oh, so nice for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, see, half the reason I'm laughing maniacally is through the through the pain because I took seven. <laughs> if you right. if you stop laughing, you cry. See, exactly. We, we, we rolled good to survive the fall, and then <laughs> that's, just cursed that's afterwards. That was it. That's the end. That was the end of my luck. Do not ready, put ready, that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> I gotta, I, I've gotta double it and give it to the next person. <laughs> Shut That's your true. poor mouth, please. <laughs> Do not. <laughs> All right. <sighs> All right, paint a picture for me. So you're tumbled, dusted, dusting yourself off after this uh, fall, kind of staring up at the smoking remains of the Thunderhawks that streaks through the sky. And, uh, yeah. You look there around. Anything around me? Uh, how... Okay, who's the closest that I could see on sensors? Closest to you would be Veraska. Okay. Um, about how far? Uh, maybe a kilometer. Not too far. Okay. I'll start heading in that direction. Awesome. Hey, Al hey, Alvarex, you just you you find the direction they are and start heading that way. I'll be right behind you. Okay. I won't uh. be able to reach out with uh, telepathy until I get to about 150 meters. I'll make an awareness okay. check. I guess. No awareness check needed. Okay. Well, we're on our way. All right. And in the meantime, Artenzo is going to be heading towards our wonderful tech marine. But there's a problem with that. As soon as I can find it. <laughs> I don't know what it is yet. Well, if you free. can't find it, that means it's free, right? I mean, I'm currently looking through the t uh, Tyranid stuff. Are you sure you want to test me? I could stop here. It's fine. It's on Carnifex. In, in, a, in a fight, right? In a fight, right. <laughs> if the Necrons don't show up in 15 minutes, it means we get to go home. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> Traz and the Infinite will come for you. <laughs> He's already stolen your mother. Trazen. <sighs> oh, where is it? I may not even be in the right book. Are you finding a friend just for me? Yeah, I am. It must be my birthday. Something like that. We shall call this land, this land. That's how it goes. And the Tyranids come out and say what we should call it my grave. What do they name the planet in Titan AE? Bob? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'm not able to find what I was looking for, so we will... Uh... Narrative it? Give me just a second. Library of Alexandria at our fingertips. I'm actually really scared now because he muted. <laughs> if I know anything about Death Watch, it's not a lot, it's a little bit, but it's probably, probably should be, well, at least a little bit. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why, so... He saved me for last, and then it's like, hold on, let me... <clears throat> cracks his knuckles, turns his mic off, starts hammering out a freaking novel on his keyboard. All right, let me let me get out the, the worst thing I can think of. It's 
that nope, barrel's not, all warped. Not the worst. I can think of worse things. God, I'm Someone calling you. about your extended warranty on your car insurance. <laughs> God, I wish that were me. <laughs> To be fair, you did open up our first mission with, I'm going to just find all the enemies and blow their backs. I mean, pull, psychically rip their spines out. In a fight, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I... <laughs> oh my god. Soul should not give us this free airtime. <laughs> Uh, see, that's the nice thing. You know, normally with these things, we have to keep talking, and it's it's kind of a big pain in the ass to keep the conversation going on your own. With you, with all of you, I just let you roll. And I, I'm easy. I'm good. Yeah, I'll say something stupid eventually. Don't worry. I got it. Eventually? I think that's more of a habit at this it's point. It's true. Yeah, no, I was born this Absolutely way. for yeah. me. I was dropped Generally. on my head. It's true. Same. Yeah. I mean, I, I can't prove it, but I got, I got evidence. Um. All right. <laughs> So somewhere in the distance, a uh, an emperor's children goes down, uh, screaming and dying with bolt rounds in them, and things start to get even worse, much ra much more rapidly. So another one of these hidey holes opens up, mm. and out from it, dragging itself as if, like waking from the worst hangover, ever imagined. A pink armored space marine drags itself out, gets up to three, four legs, and you realize it's got four legs, not just because Slaneshi bullshit, but because it needs that support for what it has on its back. What it has on its back is a pipe organ of pain. You can see that this is a an entire, like, host of pipes that are behind it. And the worst part is, what they're coming from is still alive, and at one point they were people. The rest of its back is taken up with complex life support and uh, drug chems that are keeping these, well... If they were better maintained, you might call them servitors. But no, this is just a demonic pain engine pipe organ strapped to its back. When is this miniature coming out? When can I buy it? I appreciate that. That's that's high praise. You, you gave me a noise marine? <laughs> yes, I gave you a noise marine. People were saying, oh, a noise marine? I said, not yet. You think I was lying? <sighs> no, you get the noise marine. It's fine. Cool. It's about mm, sorry, it's my fault. 100 meters from you, we'll say. 100 meters. Yeah. Go ahead and roll initiative, actually. I want to see how this goes. You son of a bitch. Yeah. It's always great when the GM says that. Let's see how this goes. Uh, let's just see how this goes. You know, just for, for fits and giggles. Record scratch. Yeah, for funsies. <laughs> Probably wondering uh -huh. how I got here. <laughs> Jesus. Yep, that's so me. So you see what? Yeah. Giant <laughs> monstrosity. <laughs> Dumb ways to die. <laughs> oh, a four. Let's see if I can beat that. You don't gotta fucking try. Yeah, just a little bit. It snuck up on me. It, it pulled itself from the ground, and it was very, very hungover. No one else knew that, though, so I'm sticking to my story. Mm-hmm. Well, the good news is, it cannot use its Doom Siren on you... yet. And you're not and you're not within range of its Psychic Cacophony either, which would be uh, bad for your Psychic Powers. Well, that's... lovely. You are, however, in range of its uh, Blast Master. Excellent. Which is going to fire at you. Master Blaster? Oh. Not the same. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I actually I actually hit. Did you? Yeah. Oh no. Two degrees of success. Of course. With what? Uh or no, against it... what against what? The Master Blaster. Oh, that's dope. That's cool. 
So, wub gun. the wub wub gun, actually. Skrillex in the 41st millennium. That's that's actually kind of what it is, weirdly <laughs> enough. Listen, man, Blood Angels live a really long time. At this point, you're just, like, blasting Skrillex at the old man. <laughs> ah, I used to do that. I'm just going to be confused. <laughs> All right, so it's going to hit you with the... Uh, Hail of Noise feature on it, huh. which is going to give you... It's got Devastating 1, which isn't too big of a deal. Okay. Alright, so your first one is 20 damage, your second one is 22. Jesus. Do we have to reroll that 10? No. They don't get that? Good. This one doesn't. Oh my god, okay, so that's... I take the 8 off of that, so that's 12 damage, right? And your armor. Oh, how do I, how do I calculate the armor? Should be all calculated on your second sheet, where your wounds are at. I see the numbers, I just don't understand them. Okay, the bottom number is the total. Okay, so... So, okay, so if I have the 15s, then I would take 5. Yep, and then 7. 5 and 7. Cool. Alright, I am not looking great. So, a Blastmaster focuses a thrumming bass note building to a crescendo of explosive intensity. It's a heavy weapon. It's capable of bursting and rupturing organs. Armor affords little protection as it tends to act as a resonator. And, uh, yeah. Armored vehicles are often quite wrecked by it. Ow. Oh no. Can I if if we manage to kill this thing, can I can I take that? Can I have it? You you would like to take the demonic weapon from No, no this is a bad plan. <laughs> Look, bad, I, bad I, sister, I, will, I bad. will check it for corruption first. It's corrupted. <laughs> it's corrupted. <laughs> it's very corrupted. <laughs> it was made corrupted. You don't have to be a tech marine to be to to tell you that the thing's corrupted. <laughs> There's some bad juju on this thing. Oh. Um. <laughs> Let's see. So how much corruption would I take? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Artenza, what are you doing? Alright, so did he move at all when he did his web webs? No. Damn it. Okay, um... Are you going to hit him right in the wub wubs? I can't smite him in the wub wubs. Mm. Which is unfortunate. I mean, if there's any kind of, like, traitor marine you can hit in the wub wubs, it's going to be Emperor's Children, right? They're, well, I mean, they're, I they'll, they'll say thank you. <laughs> they would. I want to hit him in the wub wubs, but I'm going to have to shoot him in the wub wubs first. So I'm going to try to shoot him in the wub wubs. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna use some hellfire rounds with a with my bolt bolt, pis bolt pistol. Nah, bolter. You got a full oh, you kit it up with a bolter. Yeah. Nice, smart choice. Um, it's got tearing, mm -hmm. explosive, mm -hmm. and with hellfire, it's got lethal nine and ten. So get him. Get him. Is this just going to be at a normal 10? Uh, the range you're at? Yes, I believe so. Okay. To hit. Um, there it is. Give it at 10. The curse is, uh, the curse remains. Spend a fate point to reroll? I would love to spend a fate point to reroll. Good choice. Um, so I am down to 9 fate points. And... Nine? Yes, I rolled a nat 10. Oh. So that that means that you have five. Um, oh, so, sorry, mistaken. the full five. Sorry. Yeah. I have the full number. Scared me. <laughs> I was like, right? oh, kadok. Because I rolled really well, and I only had four. And I was like, what? How'd you want to I, Listen, I don't make the rules. I have ten. Like, you just gotta, no, you gotta deal no. with it. You have five. <laughs> no. 
that would re be re-roll, re-roll. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Um, no, this is not, I don't get to add anything with this. It's just the, a normal re-roll, correct? Just normal re-roll. Dope. Two degrees of success. All right, so you're gonna roll three hits. Hella. Let's do it. All right. All right, let me check something real quick. You said that's got tearing? Yes. All right, uh, roll an extra d10 three times. Mm-hmm. Because it doesn't factor in tearing, unfortunately. No, that's fine. We can just switch out the uh, lowest. Mm. So the first one does 15, the second one does 19, the third one does 15. That's, uh, thank you. I was actually perfect. Wonderful. Let me yes, go check. Are. Yeah, let me check his armor. Bolters solve a lot of problems, by the way. I'm hoping this solves my problem because this is, uh, unideal. Ooh. You got me below half health and a hit. He yeah. needs to die. That does happen. How many wounds do you have? Or what I is your wounds number? Uh, I think I have 20 and I have seven currently. I heard- How do rune, uh, wounds regenerate? Slowly. Oh, fun. Mostly in between <laughs> missions. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Especially since we don't have an apothecary. Yeah, this is the last time we ran without an apothecary. Because <laughs> one of us died and we made a new character. Well, I mean, if uh, I die, I'll just roll an apothecary. <laughs> right? <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. It was between that and the librarian. Right. I mean, apothecaries can't parallel the warp, right? So can... Exactly. You challenge them to, come on. You need someone to forcibly make people speak gibberish. No. Yes. Or become you know, a demon game. Do, do all of us what? have enough drugs that can do that? Do we all have like a pretty low wounds number? Mine is 19. That's actually really good. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. But okay. Yeah. Mine's, mine's, yeah. <laughs> mine's 23, I think. I'm like doing okay. I'm kind of beefy. That's really good. <laughs> yeah, all my all my good rolls were done in the creation of my character, and then after that, it it, it all ended. So. Good news is the math will even out over the course of time. Oh God, I hope so. I just pulled your tokens out on the uh, board. You should be able to see them. Nice. And they have your wounds and everything on there. Uh, all right. So. Let me look at the Hellfire rounds, because this is, this is within very close range of getting them done. Mission... All right, uh, that is unfortunate. They are barely clinging on to life. Oh. So that means they're gonna get to shoot you again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um. If I shoot again, because that was just one attack, correct? I thought you were doing full auto. That's fair. That's why I did the three. Okay, cool. Yep, that perfectly fine. All right. We run and live in danger. Mm -hmm. um, that would be the best way to do it, really. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, he's going to take another shot at you. Oh. hit. It's one degree of success. Getting my ass beat out here. Roll low. Roll low. Roll low on the damage. I did. 
perfect. Nailed it. Thank goodness. All right. Oh my god. Did he move at all or did he just shoot? He's just standing there plowing sound waves into you. Very happy to be here. Very excited about the bolter rounds. The cod pieces absolutely like rad like screws out of it. <laughs> Mm. They didn't. They didn't use Loctite to fix the screws in. It was a mistake. <sighs> They're seized. <sighs> Time to just do it again. It causes things to expand. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> this is some cursed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Time to do it again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god. Let's see the roll. All right. Abominations, all of you. Jeez. That's with one the degree. Bolt. That's with the bolt pistol. Um. Thought you had the bolter. Oh, I thought I hit. I hit the wrong one. Sorry. It's all good. I'm just wanting to make sure that you get all the dice you can get. They're important. No, right no, now. for sure. Absolutely. Four. Ooh. Well, there you go. And your uh, rate of fire on there is four at full auto, so go ahead and give yourself those hits. Um, are they showing up for you? No. I'm clicking it. Try closing it and reopening it. Sometimes it just. Have you working. tried turning it off? And on again. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem with uh, Emperor's Children and Noise Marines. You can't turn them off. Oh, Whoa. Uh, oh Whoa. it's trying to roll the hit. I know, I see. It's it's stuck on something. All right. The poor... Poor sheet. Had a conniption. Here we go. Let's get back into melee weapon. Damage. One. Two. Three. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. that's um. Yo. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, that's a that's a double righteous fury on that one. Hold on. I one I just want to see where that one goes. I have. Yep. Okay. Cool. Any nine. Daka. Roll tearing for the. Lots three. of dakas. Or do you want to do the explosives first? Two D. Do you want me to roll just two D ten? If you could, please. And again, 1d10, because that 9 counts with Hellfire Rounds. Yeah, it do. Yeah, it do. 41 just on that one. Jesus. Where does that go in this poor, poor space marine? <laughs> Everywhere? Right uh, in the cod piece? <laughs> Artenzo Art is going to be pretty strategic in trying to target the still alive bits mm -hmm. on the back in this organ to put them out of their misery before then the rest of the spray trying to uh, pepper what used to be a person on the inside. Alright, yeah. Those rounds go in, the bolter goes off, this uh, noise marine falls, screaming. Uh, whatever is behind that cod piece doesn't quite escape before the body uh, finishes thrashing. And that is that is combat there. So you are all assembling now, back together, getting everything pulled together. This is uh, there's a there's a big range in how beat up you, you find fine pieces of uh, Imperial Might are. So, take a moment to, to chat, figure out what your next uh, strategy is. Y you all right, Brother Artenzo? You look, you look kind of like hell. <clears throat> After what I just listened to, I might be there. I am... I've been better, but I'm fine. So are we all together now? Yes, you are. Okay, cool. All right. So what? Uh, what's what's our what's our what's our plan? What's our plan? Who's who's leading us, by the way? That is something we skipped on the way down. I'm sorry. So who is lead? Um, 
Everyone I mean, looks around nervously. I'm a well, I can't let's see make for it, shit. Let's make it the. <laughs> let's make it our raptor, since this is a very you know this is a, a raptor centric. I like mission. that idea. I love that idea. Yeah. What well, uh? What oath did we take then? I, I, my vote is for the one that gives us extra renown, personally, but that's just me. Glory? The Oath of Glory again? Yeah, that's that's just because I want a speed run to get to the good toys. <laughs> I would like a big punch. What I. Is the, what is the Oath again? Know. Yeah. What page the, is that? Uh, the Oath limits and tells you what uh, squad mode abilities you can use. It is on page. Uh. It's on page 230 in the PHP, the core book. 230. I knew I was forgetting something at the start of this. What, um, what kind of marine is our, is our raptor? Tactical. Tactical. That's the one that gives us the option, or the most options in mm -hmm. oaths and stuff that we can Ooh, do. Oh, yeah. They fancy. They are fun. Very fancy. I do oh, like I see why I, you're saying glory. <laughs> I do like that oath of glory. I'm fine with it. What is bolter assault? Hang on. Squid mode. Yep. Pack in advance. <laughs> bolter assault. Furious charge. Oop. And there is now a new deck in the uh, roll twenty. Ooh. Oh yeah. Ooh. So it's glory. Do we need to refresh to see it? Uh, shouldn't. Oh, okay. Is it showing up? Uh, don't see it. I do not see it either. Did you scroll down in the? deck oh in the deck oh uh, uh no i can't i only Me have neither. the three yeah same melee reference the safety let me refresh okay i got it i forgot there to save changes nice ah. Squad. i am smart these are so cool soul thanks they really are yeah these are awesome real. There are, I think I made a grand total of 60 or 70 of those cards. Jesus Christ. They're honestly really clutch. I've got uh, cheat sheets for psychic powers, cheat sheets for uh, general stuff. I built cheat cards for everyone. There's the uh, squad mode cheat sheet, which is important as well. I've got the mission briefs. We've got NPCs. Which, let me make sure that you can see those. Yeah, you should be able to see those. There's Furious Charge. Okay. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's what I've been up to for the past week or so. That's so cool. Time well spent. This looks fucking mm -hmm. nice. All the art is uh, Cubicle 7 from the books, so... So battle siblings, we have we have a mission <laughs> to, to to rescue uh, Raptor Squad. Um, Raptors are primary, secondary Raptors being primary, yeah. the fortress, tertiary being if we can eliminate their commander. Can we? Do we have? Do we have a way to contact them at all? At this point, if they're nearby, I can tell. Are yep. they nearby? Uh, Sister Ash can reach out. She does have a strong enough vox to punch through the interference that Vanity is known for, which also means that probably every single raptor out there also has something similar or something nearby. And by something nearby, I mean some poor, poor schlep in scout marine armor. I've got a range on that of 35 kilometers. Yeah. Uh, let's give that. Let's let's give that a check. Who? 
Assuming I know them, who am I calling out to? Um, let's see. I've got something for this. Woo. I don't have it built up yet in the um, NPCs, but I do have something for it. Just takes me a second or two to find it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I figure if I'm able to like do those calls plus my IFF armor mm -hmm. uh, has like the identity the, uh, the friend foe identity I assume theirs would also that's a slightly smaller range but yeah it is brother Cassius Yates uh, Yates is known for being an assault marine prior which raptor assault marines are terrifying guerrilla fighters par excellence uh, but his great passion and expertise is actually as a land speeder pilot uh, very much adroit with land speeders and other vehicles so it doesn't come up very often in service with the death watch so that's not really the operational kind of plan but they do serve as a pilot for other teams and they've proven themselves exceedingly capable All right, then let's call. Let's call. Let's see if we can bring up Yates on the comms. All right. Um, it is a little bit of a stretch. There is interference here. I would like a tech use roll. Sure. Uh, Brother Vraska, would you like to help out? If Vraska is asked, he will help. But Vraska um, okay. does not um, intervene. Do you do what? Do you have tech skills? Vraska is a tech marine. It's kind of their part. Their, 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 their big thing. It's in the title. Oh. Hell yeah! <laughs> uh, please help! Please help! <laughs> okay. I will do my best to use my MIU and synchronize with your suit to boost the Vox. Uh, tech use. Let's. You don't have to roll anything. Yay! You just give uh, Sister Ash plus ten. Hog. Nice. Cool, 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 cool. I'll make that modifier plus 10. No good. No good. Alright, there is, there is static, there is interference, and you can... You do get a little bit of info from this. One, you are able to contact Yates. Like, there is, there is a response from their armor. So they're still around, they're not dead. But the interference is way too heavy. Uh, the other thing you pick up from this is they are under attack right now. You can hear like klaxons going off, there's thrash metal being played at obscene decibels. Um, that's not a joke. Like there's, there's actually thrash metal being played at like 210 decibels. Uh, that's just, there's wailing and sounds of metal tearing and glass breaking uh, the sound of cats having terrible things like said to them it's just it's bad news man metal yeah. pole <laughs> you know I was liking the thrash metal I don't like all the other stuff yeah. yeah saying bad words to cats is just like that's actually in there like there's someone 210 dust bowls, someone whispering bad kitty I'm actually personally offended. I just I, yeah, like that's just <laughs> unforgivable. Metal is one thing, but now yeah. they have crossed a line. Yeah. <laughs> and as you struggle for connection, finally one one thing does come through. There's a final clear, clean signal, but it's not from Yates. Who's it from? I'm gonna put it up on the NPC sheet. I'll give it a second. <laughs> hmm. Ah, crap. <laughs> what? That could have been way worse. Okay. Inquisitor Ramius. Her voice comes over the Vox. Sister Ash. Sister Sanctuary. Brother Alvarex. 
Brother Artenzo. Brother Vraska. So glad that you're here. You're right on time. Your mission parameters have changed. You will not be rescuing raptors. Something more important has come up. Immediately go to these coordinates. I will meet you there. I will let you look through the Inquisitor Ramius, like, NPC sheet real quick. Can I make a lore death watch roll? I uh, you... you can. I want to... I, I don't Dan. know who this person is. Yeah, Dan, Dan needs some context here. Uh, would... would we even begin to trust that? It's coming across with proper Inquisitor ID codes. Any modifiers? Uh, for Ramius, plus 20. Okay. She's a little notorious. I got an 8. You rolled an 8? I rolled an 8. Well done. I'll get back to you. Kuma, you were saying something? <laughs> uh, the typical range of these comms, how far can we potentially guess that she might be? Uh... Or can it's, we, it's an inquis on... it's an inquisitor. There's okay. no telling because they use all the spooky bullshit. All right. Um. You would know. Everyone knows everything that's on the dossier sheet. Uh, the thing that you would remember is about Ramius with an eight. I'm gonna give you a big one. Ramius is doing shit that it just isn't possible to do. And not, I'm not talking, like, kind of impossible. We're talking, like, there's either more than one Ramius or there's time travel involved. And not unpredictable warp fuckery time travel, but, like, pretty accurate time travel. Which Ordo did you say she comes from again? Uh, she is Ordo Xenos. Mm-hmm. She is. She's an Inquisitor for the Death Watch. But that is the orders. Those are your standing orders. Uh, it is 1028. We will be closing out the game session here with you having to choose whether to follow this Inquisitor or a different Inquisitor. Uh, save the raptors. Leave them to be screwed over by noise marines who are going to do absolutely terrible things to them. And uh, yeah, we will catch you at another uh, 7.30 p.m. Central, 8.30 p.m. Eastern uh, next Friday showing of Darker Stars Death Watch. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for the premiere. I love you all so very much. And uh, we will be uh, we'll be raiding out, I believe, into Willow because your stream starts, right? You are muted. <laughs> you are still muted. Darn it. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's gonna start up here in a second as soon as I get everything set up so I guess I'm just going to go ahead and go do that I apologize for the emotional trauma right at the end there but thank you all for coming <laughs> I love you all terribly much and we will go into a brief hold and then jump into Willow's stream when she goes live thank Sounds you all perfect. bye bye